Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again, and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. I wonder if it's such a bad thing today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. <laughs> To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? Need to gather the men first. We're waiting for the guys. On their way. Then we'll give the beasts some hell. You cool. Come on in. We're refugees. Nazis. How could this happen? We've been in the wreck all our lives. And now we're free? Uh, this happens all the time. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is fitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome, and have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. I disgust myself. Here we sit, with drinks, and party lights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. When do we become even father? So scary, have you got enough money to last a week? Sala regular, Sala small, nowhere. Then my life is over. And it took so long to save up. Oh well, good riddance. At least I had some well, fun. Well, the days. cases ain't new, what? but you these give up are will made. Shit. We could still make it to stalkers, instead of mere aids. Look, I got money for three days. Good luck! So drinks on me! You can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Maestro, if you'd be so kind. The can -can.
never enjoyed the show. Anything like this before. Sorry, man. Time I to feel move sorry on. for the other performance now. Patron of Their the attempts art. at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust oh, they will handle the race part. Pavel Ivanovich, so glad to see you. Where have continues. you been? You this don't like us anymore. Helen, no, что? I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, ты сюда глубо. Jana, let me use your power. In your dreams, you have your dreams. Use that. Terror of the city. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap. That's why. Artyom? No, he's Artyom. Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, Jack, it's a hard life without a soft one. More refugees again. More refugees. What's going on? Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are. You were a special from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So, let's drink it to him. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Wow! So... <clears throat> Yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They're freaking eat each other. Sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Order, order is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blink. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Move it! Hey, stop that, bleh! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know. Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Here? What about Comrade Korb? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Move it! Let's go. 
You're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you and you have information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay. But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. Arturo. General. Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky. We're one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut to the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Gorbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lonya must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> Protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug. God damn it! Butcher. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers! Just get everything out of him! And shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my Oh, I must agree with Leon. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything.
I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom! Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all... Well, good luck to you! in police? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated, and war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I... I have a way of doing it without spilling the assault is hopeless. But if we go underground to the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret. And you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned ducts? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck, then. Serve it! The red 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 Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target. already? <laughs> then watch a real man. Well, if you're a real man, why are your hands shaking? 
Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shifts. Okay. Composed. Composed. Control the premises. Me alone? Come on, get to work. All of you. Yes, sir. Ivan, stay. Did you take care of the rats? I want them all burnt. Commander, we're not Nazis. Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean? People? Shooting? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. Special department handle them. I'm talking real rats. Tails are huh? Seems like nothing. What refugees? Let the special Seems department the handle them. I'm talking real rats. Tails and all. They've multiplied like crazy. So you go and do it. On the double. Yes, sir.
Grass.
Don't use all shit about safety precautions as if we didn't sign in the book. We did, so what good is that? One asshole got run over by a train last week. No, he lost an eye when the cable broke. That was last month. I'm talking last week. Oh, now I understand why they're going on about safety like that. That's my line. Who's gonna work if everyone is out of commission? Well, yes. I wish they'd fix that dumb radio or something. It makes me uneasy, you know? Attention! Yeah. Alarm! One moment. Here.
to stand here much longer. Yeah, we should be coming back to the lot soon. Did you ever do watch duty there? Yeah, it's a creepy place. The stairs are dead.
down, or your brain goes splat. Wait a minute. Artyom, is it you? I was able to send the report back to the Order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the Blacksmith. At least Miller will know that I am alive, that I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. That's one serious pickle you're in. But I can help. I have friends, and they have friends, who can relay everything you tell me to your guys from the Order. So, now you must return home to Polis? Well, there's no direct route. Everything's cordoned off here. But I believe the Order has an outpost nearby. On the surface, the church and the marshes. Try that place. If we can get word to your people, they might meet you there. As for me, I started life anew. Left Kuznetsky most. The Reds completely subverted the place. Looking for traitors and spies. Sending people to camps, or just shooting them. All because of the coming war. People are fleeing from Kuznetsky most and their whole Red Line. Did you see the armored train the Reds are building? Well, we built something too. With the stuff the refugees are bringing. Here, take a look. At this baby, the boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. She did a swell job running refugees. But hell, you can't save everyone. So, take it. We have people in Venice, too. When you get there, find Woodpecker and tell him where you left our baby. Climb aboard! Come on, climb aboard! All right, start the engine. We're still tinkering with her, so the controls aren't perfect. But the lights are first class. No need to fear the spider bugs around her. And there's a lot of those in the far tunnels. You should go! It's a long way, so you shouldn't waste any time. Yeah? You can do it.
Pavel's group is advancing towards Tretikovskaya, also known as Venice. They have a few hours lead on me and are moving via frequently used tunnels. But I will catch up. I can't afford not to. We're armed. We are armed. Swear by Lenin's name. He doesn't look like a GB. I don't recognize the uniform. Could he be one of ours? Look at all his weapons. Don't shoot. We are civilians. There are women and children here. Leave and let leave, okay? We're refugees from the Red Line. I'm in charge here, basically. No, there is nobody under my command. All the battle-worthy men went with the other caravan. Half a click ahead. I thought they'd protect us, but they were attacked. We heard the shooting. It subsided. But it doesn't look like our people survived. So we can't go any further. And if we go back, it's the firing spot for us. You look like you've seen your share of fights. Can you help us? And it's not for me, but I pity the children. So what do we do now? How do we live without them? They might still be alive. Don't bury them yet. But the shooting... The shooting was so loud. And now there is nothing. And what if they won? Why? Why don't they come for us then? They might come soon. Let's just wait. Do you think they... They killed them all? They could have. Or, it could be worse. How? Women were with them. Yasha, if ignorance is bliss, you're the happiest guy around. So, uh, are we going to help our guys or what? What help can just the two of us be? If they're feeling down, we could flank the bandits. Let's get ready then. Well, you're not going anywhere. Who are you going to protect the women and children? But we can't let the bandits butcher our guys. That stranger is going to help us. Looks like he's worth 20 of you anyway. You are an idiot to believe you're Andre the Blacksmith. Oh, it's safe. You'll get there in no time. And you dragged me here. And now we're all gonna die because of your stupid blacksmith. Shut your mouth. Andre is Come safe. again if you need anything. He got us all out. And lots of people before us. Yeah, he got us out just to be robbed by bandits. And how the hell was he supposed to know about the bandits? Then he shouldn't tell people it's safe. Such bullshit. How about the GB? He did save us from them. And what difference does Too bad you can't fit them. You can't carry bandits. that much. No, You're more, trying man. to take too much. I don't even want to look at you. Come again. These guys don't you buy tell anything. Me, Josh. What made you flee? Mobilization, of course. A boy your age has no business with their rifle. They always overlooked me, but then I was summoned to duty. Mom said with my luck, I'd bite the dust the second I hit the front line. So, she got me to this caravan. It seems like a mistake. You're still young. You'll find a place for yourself. Please, I beg you! Shut your 
man thanks thanks man i thought i thought i was done for they took everyone still alive the kids the women i'll move the rail car so that you can drive through if you follow them be careful in the technical tunnel i heard the band talk about the truck there
I'll go have a look. If some shit happens, let me know, okay?
What the fuck is up with you? To our duty. The boss said if we let just one stick slip by, he's gonna have our ass. No shit. Let's go.
Tell me the tale late. Right now we're entering the fairway and plotting a course to the base.